So good morning guys and welcome to another video. I'm down at the shore at the moment. I've been doing a bit of casting practice. I like to get out whenever I can just to, to work on my technique and see if I can add a few a few extra yards to my cast. It's really rough today, but I found a little sheltered bay at the top of Langston Harbour uh, where it's a bit, sh it's not sheltered as such, but at least I had the wind over my shoulder rather than straight in my face if I was down the seafront. It would have been an absolute nightmare. Um, and I was due to fish tonight, Saturday night, but I looked at the forecast and it was looking really rough. It's going to get rougher later. The drizzle starting as well, and it's a cold wind too. So um, I decided in the end that I'd go last night instead. And this is what happened. So guys, very much a spur of the moment trip tonight. I was supposed to be fishing tomorrow night, but the wind they give tomorrow night is quite bad. Tonight is a much better night, but I wasn't planning to fish because my car was in the garage and I wasn't due to get it back until tomorrow. But I got a call from the garage about four o'clock to say the car was ready. So I spoke to the wife, she said, yeah, you can go. So I've got some stuff out of the freezer. I've got some bluey and some squid and I've got all the stuff loaded and it's quarter past six and I'm just off to the coffee cup. I tide's about half 11 this evening. So um, yeah, perfect really. Let's hope it's not too busy down there. Um, I'm meeting up with a friend. I say a friend, I've never met him before, but I spoke to him online a few times, Mark Williams. He's got a channel, Mark Williams Sea Fishing, Mark Williams Sea Angling. Check him out because I've got loads and loads of tips from watching his videos. He knows what he's doing. Um, and he's a really watchable and likeable guy as well. So um, he's been catching some rays down Hordle Way. Uh, I think some spotted rays and he's been fishing for small eyes and he wants to add a thorn back to his winter collection and that's what I've been catching down here so he's going to come down and fish with me and see if he can get a thorn back and then maybe at some point I can go and fish with him down at Hordle and you get the idea um, so I'm going to I'm going to get down there early by about half six and I think he's going to rock up about eight o'clock so I'll get down there get a spot and uh, and see him when he gets down there but I'm going to alert the car's loaded I'm waffling now, so I'm going to get down there, get set up, and I'll see you when I get on the beach. Um, so guys, we're down on the beach and it's absolutely lovely down here tonight. You can probably hear the waves lapping. Um, there's a great big moon up there in the sky with a little bit of hazy cloud. And there's a few anglers up to my left. And in the, in the moonlight on the water, with them in the foreground, it just looks a lovely picture. Um, um, there's one angler up to my right as well. And I've caught my tripods, I've got two tripods, because I'm going to start off fishing three rods but mostly so I can just splay it out a little bit and commandeer, commandeer, commandeer? yeah, um, a little bit of beach so when Mark comes down there'll be a bit of room for him. But it is early, it's about half six, 20 to seven, and I tie's at half 11, so um, I'm in no rush to get the rods out at the moment. I wanna make up a couple of rigs first. Um, I've been a little bit paranoid with the clip down rigs that I've been using, that when the tide's pulling, that snood is up off the bottom and it's not pinned to the deck. And since looking at some tutorials on how to make the pulley dropper, it falls down and it fishes effectively like a running ledger once it's on the bottom and you know it's all pinned down. So just for a bit of security and a bit of peace of mind and a little bit of confidence, uh, I'm going to make up three of those and pop them out and see how we go. I'm really excited. Um, I wasn't supposed to be fishing tonight, but I am and i'm happy it's usually them spontaneous trips that you catch something on as well the ones that you build up to and you've planned for ages usually they can be the hit and miss type of trips but these spontaneous sort of like spur of the moment trips they can be the ones that do the business i see i've probably put a kiss of death on it now <laughs> right. Put a new one today as well because you get a bit low on that one. And my bait is in a carry bag. I've got to start off with the old faithful. A bit of blue. Blue in this new paper. Still fairly frozen. They haven't long taken it out of the freezer, but I'm quite happy that it will thaw out. I was going to say on the lake bed then. <laughs> and the bottom.
really is quite frozen solid, but I'm not bothered. That will, once it gets out on the seabed, that will soon thaw out and this elastic will keep it in place. And as it thaws, that's when it's going to release all of that blood that's there. Before, I've had that all over the unhooking mat. Okay guys, first fish of the night, and how incredible is that? Angelic Ray, absolutely over the moon. Absolutely over the moon with that. Mark's just coming down the beach as well, so he'll be happy I've caught that. Proper chuffed. They don't call me golden balls for nothing, mate. Look at that. And it's an undulate. Yep. What a isn't that gorgeous? No, what a picture. Look at that. God, didn't that fight on the old fresh water I have, I have actually. Do you want me to weigh it? Yeah, I've got yeah. scales. Yeah, shall we weigh it? Yeah. Just oh, so sorry. you know then, then you've got a, you've got a benchmark. Yeah, here. absolutely, yeah. Hey, Cheers, you wrinkled mate. that out quick, didn't you? Yeah. How long have you been there? All three rods have gone out, yeah. and that's on the first cast. No. That's on a billion squid rat, that one. What a lovely fish! I like That's spotted grey like that. Yeah. I should have weighed that. That was close to spotting. Was it really? Yeah, I didn't know. That is so gorgeous. Do you want to grab a cheek? Yeah. And we'll just put this softer for this man. Yeah. It's no worse than the other one. Just put in. And then we'll just take away. Mate, <laughs> let's get the towel off the ground. It'll lock out at some point. What do you want to call that? It should, it should lock. It's really not out too much, isn't it? Right here in the corner. It's got to be, I'd call that at least 36, yeah? yeah. It's more 36 than anything else. <laughs> well done. Cheers, mate. Cracking. What an amazing creature. It is beautiful. Yeah. Right, let's get that back. You ready to see it go? Yeah. I'm just going to tail her for a bit until she starts to go. She's just sitting there for a minute. There she goes, mate. She's going. I hope you can hear me because the waves are crashing a bit now, but there's the second fish of the night. Lovely dogfish. So that undulate, by the way, was. 13 pounds, 6 ounces. I wanted to weigh that one, or Mark suggested that I weigh it. So I've got a bit of a benchmark for a PB. Um, so 13 pounds, 6 ounces. Lovely fish. Uh, and there's a small dogfish for the second one. Brilliant. Good start. Well, I knew it wouldn't be long. <laughs> Even with big baits and big hooks. Or waiting. <laughs> so that's three species now. Three fish and three species, well chucked. So there's fish number four, and it's another dogfish. I'll tell you what, this one is absolutely mental. I thought it was a bass. The rod just slammed over, kept on slamming, and all the way in, this four. I thought it was a bass, you know, another like two or three pound bass like I had last time down here. Um, this thing fought like it was doing an impression of a bass, you know? Mental. He gave it the old, tonight, Matthew, I'm gonna be a bass. Yeah, wiry, powerful. I'm gonna get him back. <laughs> Catching fish though, excellent. I'm actually laying on the floor right now. 
I'm just trying to shout at the camera from the wind. The wind's coming in quite strong. The waves are, and the breakers are quite hectic. Um, and to be honest, I haven't done much talking to the camera, but I had a little spell early on in the tide where I had a couple of dogfish are waiting and a, and a nice ray. And it's been really, really quiet since then. But I've been having a lovely social with Mark. He's a lovely fellow. I knew he would, but you could tell by his videos. But, uh, he comes across as a really nice guy, and he really is. Um, but yeah, just, you know, it's like when you meet someone like-minded, just chin-wagging and having a chat, chewing the fat, watching this moon. It's like a wolf moon or something. It's really, really cool. Um, yeah, the rods are really still. The rods aren't doing much at all at the moment. But yeah, it's a good excuse to be out on the beach, have a bit of a chat, have a flask of soup. Life's rosy. I'll get back to you if there's any fish. Otherwise, I'll probably be saying goodbye later on. But, uh, yeah, it's gorgeous down there. Hello, guys. So, uh, yeah, I'm laying down on the floor again, just trying to shield the microphone behind my tackle box from the wind. It's still quite a bit windy out there. Um, just looking up at this moon, it's got a big ring around it. It just looks amazing. Really, really cool night to be out tonight. Um, the rods have been dead quiet. I mean, I had four fish in the first sort of half an hour, and then absolutely nothing. Mark's had nothing either. Um, and there's quite a few anglers down there. I think they're all starting to pack up and uh, wander down the beach now back to their cars. Um, and I think it's been a fairly uneventful night for most people. So I'm quite glad that I've got here early and I had that little bit of a feeding spell early on. But um, yeah, the rods are out there now for the last cast. And after I've won these ones in, I'm going to pack the car up and get myself home. Family's been out for some pizza tonight. Said they're going to bring me home a few slices. So I'll probably warm that up in the oven and have that for myself before I go to bed. But yeah, it's been a lovely night down here, again on the beach, um, and great company with Mark as well. Like I said at the beginning, if you haven't checked his channel out, it's Mark Williams Sea Angling, or Mark William, Williams Sea Fishing, one of the two. Um, but yeah, fantastic channel. He hasn't got many videos. Um, he's only been doing it for a couple of months, but really, really watchable, locable guy. Um, getting loads of tips off of him. Uh, he makes his own little baiting needles. He shows you how to make them in his workshop. Um, chat about, chatting about rigs and a few sessions as well, catching some rays and bits and pieces. Really, really worth a watch, definitely worth checking out. But um, yeah, once I wind these in, I'm going to get myself home, so I um, probably won't see you again. Um, I'll see you in the next one. I don't know when I'm going to go fishing next, I've got no plans at the moment. Um, probably back down here at some point, I've still got bait in the freezer, so I'm not going to go tomorrow night because it's going to be too windy down here. But when I do get out, I'll bring the camera and uh, show you guys what happens. Until then, thanks for watching. See you next time.